Yo right, guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the first ever episode of Team of the Week. And um, as you can clearly tell by the title, I am just going to be basically showing you guys the Team of the Week. What I think of them, uh, my expected prices of them, uh, what sort of team you can build them in, just uh, that sort of thing really. Um, so anyway, let's start with this week's Team of the Week. Uh, it's the 20th of March 2013. And um, at first, there's like a very, very good Team of the Week. Uh, some very big names in there. I uh, can go for a lot of coins. So let's start with the striker. Um, well, he's not actually a striker, he's a left winger. But we'll go with David Luiz. David Luiz? I'm not talking about David Villa. Um, very good player. He looks very, very good. Only 80 pace, which is bearable. You can you can live with, with uh, only 80 pace. I remember I used to uh, inform Gasson, and he was very good. Um, he has 89 shooting, which is absolutely crazy for a uh, for a winger or like a left midfield. Uh, he has 86 dribbling. He's very, very good. Uh, really would like to play with that guy. Uh, if you had like a Liga BBVA squad or a Spanish squad or any that any sort of team like that, then I would recommend buying him. Uh, he'd probably be around probably 150,000 coins is what I'm going to expect him to be at, which is um, quite a decent price for a, a player of that sort of quality, really. Because um, all the pace was won't really want him, will they? They'll just stick with um, Pedro. Anyway, next player we have is the Inform Yilmaz. And now this player has been very, very awaited. He is an absolute monster on the game. Absolutely crazy in game stats. He has 82, pretty much everything. He's an absolute beast. Uh, the non informed version is just absolutely spectacular. Um, I can't wait to play with him. Uh, should be quite cheap as well, maybe only about 30,000 coins. Maybe up to about 40,000 coins, but that is definitely worth it. And now, on to probably the best player of the team, we have Inform Hazard. And now, I, I personally think this player has deserved it for the whole season. I am a Chelsea fan, uh, as most of you probably do already know. But, um,. He is one player. Fuck, good voice, guy. Um, he is one player. I think has deserved it throughout the whole season. Uh, and just look at them stats: 90 pace, 81 shooting, 85 passing, 91 dribbling. Wow, that is some crazy stats. Really, really would like to play with him. Uh, it'll be interesting to see if he gets higher or lower than the uh, first informed bail uh, on the first side of things. But I expect him to be quite a lot more, probably around 500,000 coins. Maybe a little bit less, maybe about 400,000, but still has a lot and lot of coins. Next player we have is Inform Donk. A lot of you probably remember him from FIFA 12. Yep, he was a centre back. Uh, he also was a centre back, I believe, on FIFA 13. Although the Inform is now a centre defensive mid. Um, probably not as good as the other Inform on FIFA 12. But still, it looks like a very good player there. He's some very good stats. Next player we have the, I think it's the second Inform, or might be the third Inform, uh, Marchisio. Uh, very uh, well done to him. He has definitely deserved it. He has played very well. Uh, he played very well this week, especially uh, as as you can see that they are reflected in his stats: 82 pace, 82 shooting, 85 passing, 86 dribbling, uh, 79 defending, and 74 heading. Very very good. Um, would really like to pluck to uh, chart that guy in uh, in a squad. Also, he'll get a uh, team and nationality link with uh, Chiellini, and I do use him in a lot of my squads. So. I'll you probably see this guy, um, if not the second in form, at least the uh, first in form, in probably a few of my uh, squads to come. Anyway, next player we have the in form Sahin. I did actually build a team a few days ago with the non form Sahin in it. Uh, if the price is, is bearable, uh, which is which I'll probably say about fi about 50k or less, then I'll probably end up buying him. And that's what uh, price I expect him to be at around 40,000 to 50,000 coins. Of course, the uh, Bundesliga is actually a very popular league, uh, and there isn't many good defensive mids in the league really. Um, Schweinsteiger, and that's about it. So anyway, on to our right back, we have the inform Coleman, and he is the bronze, uh, bronze, uh, silver right back from uh, Republic of Ireland. Also plays in the uh, Barclays Premier League. He's like a pretty decent player there. I haven't, I haven't actually heard of his, um, ha actually haven't really heard of him before, but he does like a pretty decent player. Might be worth trying out. Now, centre backs, we have the inform Rio Ferdinand. Uh, he did play very well this week. Um, so, okay, so that's the only 60 pace, which is a bit. I feel when I'm playing a game of FIFA, um, you do need a lot of pace with your centre backs. I try to have all my centre backs always above 70 pace. Um, and unfortunately, he doesn't have it, so I probably won't be trying him out. But uh, if you're using him in like a 3 at the back or 5 at the back, I hate them formations. But if you are um, sweaty enough to use them, uh, them sort of teams, then. You'd, be, you'd definitely be worth a go, uh, especially the absolute tank at the back, just just no pace. Next player we have the Inform Colotto. Um, looks okay, nothing special to be honest. Um, when I first saw him, an Argentinian centre back, I was like, oh, 
might might be a decent Argentina centre back, but I was quite disappointed when I saw these uh his stats. But you know, he could be a lot different in game and he could be absolutely amazing, but um what can I say I haven't, I haven't actually used him in the game before because he's only been out a few hours. Anyways, next player we have the informed guy. Right? Uh, again, another centre back from Argentina Argentina that's very slow. Uh, it does look a, it does look a very good player though, eighty five defending, eighty heading, uh seventy four passing. It's a bit higher pace than most Argentinian centre backs, so it might be worth having a go. Uh, it could be quite cheap as well, and used in quite a lot of hybrids because he's from the Liga, Liga Portuguesa uh, and Argentinian, so he could be uh, hybridised with him in it. And anyway, also a goalkeeper, we have the Inform Courtois, and boy, has it taken his time, taken, taken, have they taken their time with uh, bringing out the Inform version of him because he is absolutely amazing in real life. Don't know how he is on rate about eighty-five. I know he is on the online seasons, um, but. This is his, his uh, first informed card, and wow, just look at them stats. Nothing really else needs to be said about that. And then, anyway, and anyway, anyways, onto our subs. We have the informer Hamid, the um, United States goalkeeper. Um, looks pretty decent there. Um, wouldn't mind giving a go if I had a uh, like a MLS league or whatever, or an uh, American league, but unfortunately I don't, so I'll probably be trying my time soon. Next one we have the informed Coke. Um, doesn't look too bad. Um, Maybe some silver like Liga BBVA teams will use him very well. He can also be used um, in a hybrid with um, what's his face Jesus on the right mid or right wing, uh, so that he gets a team and national link with him. Because uh, they are both from Sevilla. Next player have the inform Kajou. I think that's how you say it. Uh, the French right mid uh, does look pretty decent. Uh, not the best pace though uh, for right mid. You do want to look for at least. Oh, I yeah, I usually try to look for about eighty to eighty-five plus pace on a winger. But uh, as a right mid, you don't need it as much, so you could use him as a right mid uh, in what, like a 3 5 2, I guess, would probably work. Then we have the Inform Rodriguez. Um, Looks like a decent player, nothing too special again. Very good pace for a center to attack in mid, but um, that's about it, to be honest, the, what we can see from his uh, card stats. And then on to the next player, we have the Inform Gomez. Now, this player does look very good. Liga BBVA and Argentinian, he does look like an absolute beast. Look at them stats, 87 pace, 87 dribbling. Wow, they are some very good stats. Again, used in a hybrid with um, Argentina and Liga BBB. You will, get also, you will also get a strong link to like someone like Messi, uh, who's also Argentinian and in the Liga BBB. So I can see um, him being in a lot of expensive hybrids, uh, maybe with uh, Tevez, Aguero, who knows. Any Argentinian players, really, or Liga BBB players that will get a link to him. Next player, we have the inform Parkin. Uh, Looks like an okay player, nothing too special about him if I'm going to be honest. Um, another average in form really. And anyway, next player we have the inform Pat Patterson. <coughs> Sorry about that. Um, again, looks pretty decent. 70 shooting for a uh, bronze striker is very good. Um, would probably be very useful in some Northern Ireland squads. But um, I'm not too familiar with them sort of, with their sort of squads. I'm sure some of you are and um, are looking forward to using them. Anyway, thanks for watching this episode guys, I hope you have enjoyed it, and I'll see you next week.